Hey guys, Brian with Cajun Cardboard coming at you from the great state of Louisiana with another PWCC Weekly Top 100 Auction Update. This is PWCC Weekly Auction number 69. Yes, it's the sexiest PWCC Weekly Auction that's ever ended and it ended last night on May 14th. Today is early morning May 15th and so I'm bringing you the results the very next morning. Let's get cranking. I've got 96 cards. Yeah, I know I said 100 but we got... Um, what is that uh 32 rows of three so let's get cranking let's begin with uh some jason tatum flavor it looks like a gold prism but it's not i don't know anything about contenders uh but this is uh, the tatum 2017 contenders prism autograph bgs 9.5 does 2760 a patch lebron no auto just a patch serial number 25 from 2013 in his beautiful Cavs uniform does 2760 cool patch there and then um, a card that we will see many, many times over in one variation, one parallel or another, the 2003 Topps Chrome LeBron BGS 9.5 does 2760. I've got it pulled up. Uh, the card, it looks like it's trying to hold steady over the last two weeks. I mean, LeBron's defying father time. He's defying Vegas. He's uh, defying conventional wisdom. Uh, he's doing things at his age nobody's ever done. Uh, enough superlatives about LeBron. Let's see what the Lakers can do with uh, the Joker in these Nuggets Tuesday night, tomorrow night, uh, when, uh, when they match up in Game 1 of the Western Conference Finals. Uh, pretty cool stuff, pretty historic stuff going on. No matter what happens, um, Whoever wins the finals, there's going to be something historic that happens. Either Jimmy Butler is going to be the next Dirk Nowitzki and go win a title with no help, uh, or, well, no historically relevant help, uh, or uh, the Joker is going to get his first and give a big F you to Joel Embiid and all those idiots that voted for Embiid for MVP. I shouldn't say that. It wasn't that big of a disparity, but it should have been his MVP. Uh, or uh, LeBron is going to blow the top off of this hobby and uh, win a title. And uh, all these LeBron cards that we're looking at right now that are down, uh, which most are, uh, that will be a one hell of a story for the hobby. Or the Celtics, Tatum and Brown are going to get their first, uh, which means they'll probably never separate those two guys until they're no longer uh, in their prime. And it means their career will be inextricably woven together forever. Well, let me know what you think that does to their hobby value. Of course, Tatum had a huge fat 51 yesterday in that closeout game seven against the uh, the Sixers without James Harden. Oh wait, I'm sorry. James Harden did play. He was just minus 30 with five turnovers, uh, which is par for the course for, Jason, uh, for, for Mr. James Harden and the beard. Uh, been there, done that. He had some big games this playoffs, but once again, when the spotlight shined the brightest, we saw what he was about. 8.5 BVG, 2760 Magic Bird, Doc, uh, 2017 Flawless Patch, Autograph, Serial Number to Only 5, PSA 10, Pop 1, 2880 for that beautiful Durant Flawless card. And then an Autograph, J uh, John Stockton facing off against... Uh, uh, Byron Scott, both of them wearing underwear. I'm not sure why they didn't have their NBA uniforms on. It looks like they're wearing their underwear here in this picture. Uh, the socks are great. Byron Scott's socks are great. He wanted to be Michael Cooper, and so he wore socks like him. 2880 for that autograph, John Stockton Star, 1984 card. Really iconic card. Really iconic uh, set and product that I've started to uh, learn a lot more about recently, chasing the Michael Jordan run in, uh, in those uh, 80, 80 star sets, 84, 85, 86 star sets. Um, we've got a 2016 Panini Noir Spotlight Signature. I sound dumb trying to say Noir every time because I took a bunch of years of Spanish and never took French because I thought it sounded ridiculous. 3,000 for, let me know in the comments if you think French just sounds ridiculous. Like it just sounds ridiculous to me and I know girls probably like it but like dudes who speak French but I, to me it just sounds preposterous. Uh, 3000 bucks for this Noir Spotlight Autograph Serial number 125. A LeBron, kind of a championship uh, PMG retro from 2012 in his St. Vincent St. Mary's uh, uniform. Does 3000 I still remember watching his first high school game on TV when it was televised on ESPN. Wow, there was a lot of hype about that game. And he, of course, he lived up to expectations, and you knew you were seeing something special back then. Jerry West, really cool modern Jerry West card, 2009 exquisite. 
collection numbers. Uh, of course, his jersey number 44 with about 50 colors and a bunch of breaks in there and a good-looking autograph. This is a raw card. Hopefully somebody puts that in a slab, even if there is no number on it. Let's just slab it up, protect that thing forever. 3000 for Jerry and his box cut. Great shoulders, by the way. Great shoulders in that picture. Uh, Jordan, PSA 5, does 3. Bird Magic, another BVG, 8.5, does 3. Uh, the the this is I thought was too low. Uh, again, I don't own it. Well, I own one Dirk Nowitzki card because I'm a set collector, so I have to own one real cheap Dirk Nowitzki card. But this is a a really cool a really cool image where it looks like he has a tiny little pea head uh, back when he was a rookie with the Mavericks playing with uh, the great Steve Nash, but this is his Topps Chrome Refractor Rookie Min Gym. It does 3120. We've got this bad boy pulled up. What a ride historically, right? Wouldn't it be nice to be back in 2012 and pay $148? The card jumped all the way up to just after the bubble, and of course the 2021's the height of the hobby, 9,100. It has come crashing all the way back down to 3,120 guys and gals that's pretty low uh, 3,120 is uh, about a thousand bucks more than 2019 prices and less than 2020 prices that seems low and let me tell you why I think that's a pop 12 in BGS 9.5 it's a pop 12 in PSA 10 that means there are um, I don't know why it says 25 total gems it should oh because they're counting SGC there's 25 total gems according to card ladder across the three big graders PSA BGS and uh, SGC one in SGC slab that is not a lot of Topps Chrome refractor gems for Dirk Nowitzki 3,120 does not seem like a lot of money especially when you see some of the cards that people are paying three thousand dollars for uh, as we scroll up that I just don't think have the same kind of meaning I mean Dirk Nowitzki is one of the top five power forwards that ever lived people argue he is the second greatest power forward Carl Malone uh, Barkley KG uh, a lot of other people have something to say about that. Of course, I don't mention Tim Duncan because he is unequivocally the greatest power forward that ever lived, regardless of what anybody says. Uh, 1961, unless you count LeBron James as a power forward. Uh, and I know LeBron, I mean, uh, Giannis is trying to get in that conversation, but Giannis isn't, isn't there yet. A long way to go, especially after the crap he pulled this playoffs. Uh, 61 Fleer West 90C, 61 Fleer West PSA 7. Two Jerry West rookies, uh, 3,120 for both. Let me know where you're leaning. I'm leaning in for the 7. I can't stand qualifiers. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. What do you know that I don't know about qualifiers? Like, I would never in a million years prefer the card on the right over the card on the left. I, I just wouldn't. I don't know if it's the OCD nature, and that starts with OC. <laughs> so it, it could say parentheses 9 OCD. I don't know, but I'm not taking the Purple Giraffe 9 OC over the, uh, over the Giraffe PSA 7, ever, never in a million years. I just think this card clearly looks better. A, it looks better. B, I don't like qualifiers. It's interesting right there, comparison. Now, I don't, I don't know the historical comparison between two grades off, higher grade with the qualifier, lower grade, clean. I, I don't know if this is normal, uh, but, uh, but I'm a buyer on the 7 all day long. I mean, if you resub this now to PSA, you're not getting a 7. I know that. Uh, I know enough about PSA. <laughs> I've sent enough cards there, even, even though I haven't sent as many vintage. I know if you send this into PSA right now, you ain't getting a 7. So... Uh, BGS, uh, I'm sorry, a BGS 9 Red Giannis. This is his rookie. It's a retro PMG Giannis. Serial number 2, 150. That's a pop 12. Only one higher grade exists. 3,240 for that Giannis retro red. A Butler patch autograph rookie. Serial number to 21. Boy, that's a beautiful, beautiful card for a really, really hot player and a hot team right now. And then this is the Tyrese Maxi BGS 9. 10 for the autograph. True RPA. 3360. Uh, it's funny to look at the track record and what each of these two guys has accomplished. Not that Butler's ever won anything, but just in the aggregate, how much of a resume this guy has accumulated compared to this guy. This one's serial number to 21. This one's serial number to 99. This one is a BGS 9. This one is a BGS 9. I didn't look at the back, but I'm going to assume it's a 10. Uh, it is a 10 for the auto. Uh, and they have the same, almost exactly the same price. That's just interesting to me. Uh, and I get upside, upside, upside. But uh, I hate to be a, I don't know, a pessimist. But and I love Tyrese Maxey because I'm a huge Kentucky fan, and I'm a big Tyrese Maxey fan. Even though I don't collect his cards, I really like him. I think he's one of the uh, future best point guards in the NBA. 
I don't ever see Tyrese Maxey replicating the career numbers that Jimmy Butler did. I just don't see it happening, adding up the all-star teams, the all-NBAs. It's just not likely. Again, really, really good player. And who knows, you know, when Harden kind of gets extracted from that situation, which he will, he will not be back there uh, next year, maybe Maxey really takes the next step like we saw De'Aaron Fox do. Uh, I keep saying I should have bought one of these. I should have bought one of these. I'm holding a couple of Jalen Browns left from what was a massive collection. But uh, every week I just kind of see it and I'm like, why don't I own this card? I should own one of this card and I don't. 3,360 as uh, Jalen pushes towards his first title. Uh, of rarely, and last night, just happened to be on the back of Jason Tatum. Usually he's the one coming up big. 2003 Skybox Autographics. Autographics, when I hear autographics, I think autograph, right? And I don't know why. Maybe it's because the word autograph is in it. Uh, but uh, no autograph on this. It's just the autographics silver parallel. It is serial number to 150. It's a LeBron James rookie. I've never seen one. Uh, I don't know much about this set, but when I hear autographics, I'm looking around for an autograph, and there's not one. And trust me, I checked the back. There's not one. Shaq, base, uh, exquisite. This is his patch parallel. I'd say base. It's not a base. It's a. Uh, it's the patch, so it's an insert, but it is serial number to 10. It's BGS 9.5, which makes it a pop one card. Cool pickup for a Shaq collector. 2003 is first year exquisite as well, so really cool pickup for a Shaq collector right there. Speaking of cool pickups, good lord. 99 Upper Deck Century Legend, Epic Signatures, Century Parallel Bird, serial number. These were always hand serial number to their jersey number. 11 out of 33 is filth. This is pure fire, absolute nasty. PSA 8 for this one. Good looking auto to me. I'm not an auto expert, but that's badass right there. 3,480 for that bird. Uh, Kobe Flawless patch, 3,600. See this card occasionally here and there. Serial number to 25, pop one. Only one is graded uh, numerically. Uh, so authentic PSA 10 is about as good as you can do for this one. And I think it's a sticker from what I can tell, but a cool looking patch. I don't know much about these 2009 Panini certified products, uh, but 3,600 for that one. A, a um, Michael Jordan 86 Fleer, super off center left to right with a six for centering, also does 3,600. Uh, Tyrese Maxey Black Gold PSA 9 does 3,720. Uh, that begs the question would you rather the true RPA, serial number to 90? 9910 or would you rather the black gold serial number to five horrific color clash not a color match color clash this is an awful color combination for 3720 uh durant with uh, what looks like a rakuten a rakuten i don't really know and i still don't know what that crap is i know it's some big company some kind of cash back rebate thing if you buy on I don't know, something like that. Uh, serial number, somebody tell us in the comments what is Rakuten. I don't know. If you're from Golden State, you probably know. And I probably should know, but I'm old and I don't watch TV unless it's a basketball game. 3,720 for this Rakuten uh, patch card, autograph, serial number to five, BGS 9.5. Steph Curry, 2012 Prism, first year Prism, a product that I am extremely fond of, a year and a product that I'm extremely fond of. This Steph Curry has been on a wild ride. Let's pull it up. Where is he? Here he is. 37.20 last night. That is the lowest sale of the last 18 sales. The card got as high as 13,000 consistently for five consecutive sales. It has dipped all the way back to 37.20. It is a pop 32 card um, in PSA 10. There are 37 BGS 9.5. So there's 71 gems out there. Um, I think one day Prism Silver is going to have its day. Or maybe it already had its day. I think it's going to have that day again. I think one day we're going to get back to those types of numbers. I don't say that about very many cards because I think the ship has sailed on a lot of these card prices. But I am telling you, when we bounce out of this Prism Panini era and we get into Fanatics, uh, I really think these 2012, 13, and 14 Prism, especially the silver and the color parallels, are going to be highly sought after, and I think they may run again. Certainly, um, I'd feel pretty comfortable buying this card at that price, and that's coming from somebody who owns absolutely no Steph Curry cards. I own one, the 2012 base, because I'm collecting the set. Uh, Oh, well, one for two. Uh, Vince Carter and who my kids called Marvin Big Butt Williams. For those of you who don't remember, Marvin Williams was an extremely highly touted one and done out of North Carolina. He had a gigantic ass, a huge posterior. His butt was disproportionate to his body. Uh, he was a massive, massive, massive underachiever. I know that because I was actually a big 
Hawks fan uh, back in the uh, mid 2000s to uh, to 2010 area. So I was watching, you know, Corver and Horford and Teague and uh, Joe Johnson and watching all those guys. And Big Butt Williams was like the Stanley. Jo- I shouldn't say it was Stanley Johnson. He was like a. Um, Oh man, he was like a, uh, I don't want to say Cameron Johnson because Cameron Johnson could actually shoot. He was just a dude. He was just there and he never really lived up to the uh, early, early lottery hype. He was either pick number three, I think it was pick number three, uh, but my kids called him Big Butt Williams. They, they, I'm, I don't know where they got that. It couldn't have been from me screaming at the television screen, but great autograph of Vince Carter right next to him. Sorry, I got, I got lost there. Uh, 2018 Panini Fallless Giannis uh, Patch Autograph. 3960 Tatum patch autograph 3960 that is a rookie card in the original Panini casing go grade it maybe there's some value in there Tatum's moving on he might get his first ring could be a great Tatum pie time by the way there's tons of Curry and LeBron in here let me just get that out of the way the 2009 tops gold not chrome but just regular tops which is serial number to 2009 what a coincidence 3960 a Kobe platinum BGS 9 does 3960 that's pretty crazy considering the Jordans are in the 30s, I think, or 20s or 30s for a BGS 9. Um, we've got a Will Chamberlain, good looking Will Chamberlain, BVG 5. That's a pretty good looking 5 right there. I know it's a little thin at the top there, uh, but that's a pretty good looking 5 right there. 3,960 with the extremely insensitive uh, racist image of a very dark red Indian dribbling a basketball at the top. Again, speaking of color clashes, what a terrible color combination this is. I know the card's iconic and everybody looks past it because it's freaking Wilt's rookie and uh, it's just awesome, right? But the colors are horrific. I thought this was an interesting comparison of these two cards right here. Uh, a 2015 Booker True uh, a, a serial number to 25 parallel RPA with a cool patch. Of course, the clay patch is also cool. This is his true RPA, which was serial number to 199 in 2012. Uh, an 8.5 Booker, uh, a 9 clay. They sell for the exact same price. Just curious in the comments. Let me know which one of these two cards would you guys want to have in your possession five years from now. Just from a pure value standpoint, which one of these cards do you think is going to be more valuable five years from now? I guess what I'm asking you is, do you think Booker can have the same career as Clay? And if the answer is you do, then you're going to want the serial number to 25 card over the serial number to 199 card, one would think, but that always doesn't play out as we've seen uh, in the ultra modern RPA era. Uh, but this is just an interesting comparison because, um, you know, the true shooting guard position almost doesn't exist anymore. And but Booker is an absolute, by definition, exactly the true two, two guard, two combo guard, shooting guard. He is the true definition of a shooting guard. Like if you put him back in the 90s, he'd fit that Mitch Richmond, Michael Jordan, Reggie Miller. He'd fit that mold perfectly. Clay, same thing. Clay is a shooting guard. He's a true shooting guard at the two position. Guards twos, plays the two, shoots the ball, plays the position the way it was in the 90s. Uh, it's just interesting because those are the two guys that come to mind when I think of true shooting guards shooting guards, um, you know, them and, uh, and Kevin Herter. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, Patch Auto Durant, 4,000. Uh, emblems of Endorsement, Carmelo, 4,000. Zion, first Zion we've seen. Zion's been really slow. Maybe it's because nobody's seen him in a while. Uh, 4,200 for that serial number to three from Eminence. Uh, dual autograph Carmelo and Jordan. That's an interesting pairing. This is the gold parallel, serial number to only five from 2004. 4,200, uh, a Kobe logo man, but it's a serial number to three logo man. Uh, I'm sure somebody can make some use out of this uh, numerator two, denominator three, two, three, 23, do whatever you want. He's number 24, but Jordan was 23. You can go through all those different ways to make cards meaningful. Uh, this card's meaningful regardless. This is his uh, National Treasures laundry tag logo man with uh, Jerry West's butt, thighs, ankles, and feet showing 4,320 for that serial number to three card. Pop one, only one graded higher. Steph, patch card, no autograph, just a patch. 4320, Jordan 7 does 4320. 
autographed 1985 Jordan uh, card number 117. This is the second year base Jordan. Did I get that right, star people? Make sure I got that right. I think this is his uh, true second year base. So the star 101 was his first year base, which is his XRC or rookie, whatever you want to say. This is the base second year card. There's a bunch of other uh, subset cards featuring Jordan in 85, but this is the base card. Uh, so it's probably the most valuable. I I think I gotta go look, but I think it's the most valuable the second year cards. I'd have to go look. Only a seven for the autograph because it's a little bit rough, a little bit streaky. I get it. Forty three twenty, still an epic piece of history. Uh, Trey Young, authentic ten for the auto does forty four forty. Eminence Kobe, every auction, every. I, I swear to God, this is the sixty ninth auction, sexiest auction ever. There's a Kobe Bryant eminence autograph in every one. They must have printed 57,000. Otherwise, the same people keep selling them and buying them. I don't know what's going on. Uh, a little note, speaking of North Carolina flameouts that never amounted to what everybody expected them to be, uh, maybe that sounded harsh. Rashad McCants, followed in Marvin Big Butt Williams' footsteps, also did almost nothing in his NBA career, despite being extremely highly touted in a lottery pick. Uh, right on the same logo man one of one with Kevin Garnett. I'm pretty sure this was a Kevin Garnett collector buying this card, not a Rashad McCants collector. Let me know in the comments if I'm wrong and you are a Rashad McCants collector, in which case you're never going to watch my channel again. Kobe Bryant, top's finest refractor, beautiful card. Somebody might have thought there was some room here, right? Maybe by raw. Uh, I didn't look at the deets. I didn't look at the details, but you can look. Let's look at it. We can look at it, and this is what you get when you get an NBA graded card. If there was any flaws or anything like that, glaring flaws, uh, Mike Baker would kind of highlight it with an, uh, a yellow like spotlight where those flaws were. Uh, usually you see them on the corners, but sometimes there's surface defects. Uh, I'll tell you one thing he needs to highlight is the back centering. It's really, really bad. As you can see in this picture, it's absolutely really, really bad. Uh, so I guess somebody is probably looking at this card. Nice little video here from PWCC. People are looking at this card or whoever's buying it. Maybe they're just raw collectors and they just want to put this Kobe with the coating in a, a you know a top loader or a two-piece or whatever and just keep it in their collection forever. But if they were thinking of uh, maybe PSA 9 Glory uh, by Raw Grade Flip, like I think about all the time, that's a $6,900 card as a PSA 9. PSA 9 look like a stretch, but if you look at this PSA 9, that sucker ain't centered either. So who knows? Maybe there is a chance at a PSA 9. Lately, I'm not buying it. I'm thinking it's a PSA 7 or 8. Uh, Jordan cut above, BGS 9. Big card here. Big card has come way back down. 4,800 for this BGS 9. We've got him pulled up for sure. Uh, again, 76 is the pop, but if you look at the, um, at the pop report, it's only been graded about 340 times, something like that. Look at the gem rate on the PSA 10s. I know the dirty bastard that owns the uh, PSA 10, uh, a good friend of mine at Northeast Sports Cards. Uh, basically, my uh, the guy that I'm chasing in the Jordan collecting world, not that he has the biggest Jordan collection in the world. It is one of the biggest. Uh, but the way he collects Jordans is similar to the way I collect Jordans. Buying as many unique high grade as you possibly can and just kind of building upward and outward. And so uh, congrats, Josh. Josh has got the PSA 10, of course, which is a mega card. We're talking about the BGS 9 here, which is a $4,800 card based on last night's sale. Only 29 9.5s and only the one uh, PSA 10. Here's what that BGS 9 has done over the last six months. It's actually up a little bit. Not a little bit, a lot actually. 17.85%. If we look at the last year, it's probably not so pretty. Yeah, so the card was around 78, 77 about a year ago. Uh, but it looks like the last six months is good news. Last one sold 5,000. This one dipped back to 4,800. So uh, nine is a good, BGS nine especially, really good price to collect uh, these bigger Jordan inserts in because you can get them for mid and low four figures. Whereas PSA 10s, that PSA 10s Probably a $25,000, $30,000 car. I don't know. Maybe I'm off on that. Let me know in the comments. But any Jordan Pop 1 uh, PSA 10 gem of a meaningful car, it's gotta be, I, I got to believe it's a $25,000, $30,000 car. Let me know. I might be crazy. Uh, Dodgers Blue 9 does forty nine twenty. Here's two interesting cards. We compared Clay and... Um, uh, and speaking of uh, natural shooting guards, here's another one. This is another ultra-modern, true shooting guard, Donovan Mitchell, although he does run some one, uh, but not as much anymore with Darius Garland there, uh, Winston's son. 
This is a 2017 Optic Black 1 of 1. This is a Jimmy Butler uh, Serial Number to 25 Parallel RPA with a, just a filthy patch. Filthy, filthy patch with his jersey number there. And a good-looking autograph. Is it a 10? Let's just make sure. Yeah, it's a 10 for the autograph. Same price, $49.20 for these two cards. Who are you buying in the comments? I want to know who are you buying out of these two. Are you the gambler thinking that Donovan Mitchell is going to exceed the career of Jimmy Butler? He's off to a great start. I know they had an unceremonious uh, flame out where they just got out muscled and Evan Mobley got treated like a child um, and Jared Allen wasn't exactly himself either. 49-20 for this one of one Mitchell from probably the second best chromium product out there behind Prism or uh, you're going to go for the Jimmy Butler BGS 9 slash 25 rookie patch auto from 2012 National Treasures. Mm, this would be tough. I'll be honest with you. I love Jimmy Buckets and I love RPAs. I'm taking the Mitchell on this. I think Mitchell long term and it, the fact that it's a one of one, the fact that it's a PSA 9 instead of a BGS 9, I just think Mitchell has, I know this is going to sound crazy, I think at some point he's going to sniff a title just the same way Jimmy Butler has and he got off to a better start to the beginning of his career than Jimmy Butler did, although Jimmy is flourishing right now making another All-NBA team this year. Uh, Kevin Durant, Refractor 10, does 49-20. Uh, we got a Doncic Immaculate Patch Auto, True RPA, serial number to 99, 5,040. LeBron Signature Shots Auto, an interesting little autograph window right there, 5,040 with the goal in the net down there. Uh, a Jordan Patch Autograph from 2004, SPX with a pretty cool throwback, Chicago Bulls uniform, 799 is going to kill that value, 5,040. A LeBron PSA 10 Tops Chrome, are you sitting down for some bad news? This is the lowest sale of the last 511 sales, and it's going to be more than that if we kept going back two years. This is the lowest sale since uh, May of 2022, and I can't sort. I mean, I could go in here and sort the dates and go back three years, but if you look at all time, the card's at 5,000. The last time it was at 5,000 was way the hell back in you know 2020 maybe even 2019 uh so this was a terrible terrible sale uh last night for a psa 10 that doesn't look like noticeably off center it is an old label so i'm sure that doesn't help for some of those uh new label snobs steph curry bar of gold thingy autograph i don't even know what i'm looking at here uh he's in a suit holding his mvp trophy though 5160 for this eminence autograph serial number to three gold bar auto 5160 uh, another steph curry patch autograph teeny tiny autograph on his right wrist there 5160 a jordan 8.5 does 5280 another steph this is a one of one autograph from uh national treasures personalized i thought on these cards they were supposed to write something personal, but it looks like he just autographed it to me, unless I'm blind, uh, but he didn't write anything on the back. Uh, I thought that they usually write something on there, like LeBron would write like King James, or you know, everybody would write like their nickname or something about themselves. I thought that's why this insert set was called personalized, but maybe I'm misremembering like Roger Clemens, maybe I'm wrong. Uh, let me know in the comments if you guys know more about this personalized uh, insert set, autograph insert set than I do. Uh, LeBron, 2007, Topps Chrome PSA 10 LeBron. I don't remember if I looked that bad boy up or not. I did not, but I did look up. Here's a PSA 8 Jordan for 5760 and a Bird Exquisite Limited Logos first year exquisite collection 5880. That's a great looking card there. Uh, I did look up this Barkley PSA 10. So the 86 Fleer set, we know the rise and the fall. I got out of my set somewhere in the middle of the fall. Wish I'd have gotten out at the peak. I wouldn't be talking to you losers on YouTube. Excuse me, I'm just kidding. You know that. Love you guys. Um, where is it? There it is. So this is what the Barclays doing. Uh, it's been pretty steady since February. Of course, there was an exceptional copy with the PWCC sticker that sold back here for eighty-one hundred. But over the last three months, otherwise, it's about a six thousand dollar card. This one last night does fifty-eight eighty. So a couple of little bumps up here, up to eight thousand again for whatever reason. Um, this is a pop two hundred and thirty-seven card with a gem rate of two. Uh, put that in perspective. That is a gem rate of two. 10,000 have been graded. Only 237 have been deemed worthy. That is a very low gem rate. Looks like Barkley's starting to find the floor. Hopefully all 86 Fleer has. I'm almost out of mine. I have one more PSA 8 set to sell. And then all I'll have is my high-end Jordans and my PSA 8 Jordans. That's all I'll have left. Uh, sort of a sad story, but... Uh, 
a financially happy one. Uh, Cracked Ice Zion BGS 9.5 10 serial number to 25 does 6,000. Um, another interesting comparison, right? How many times has this guy been compared to Barkley? I, I know that just because they're both big, fat, black guys, I get that. But uh, different players. Uh, very, very different players. Barkley was damn athletic, but I ain't never seen anybody as athletic as this guy at that size. And, uh, and by the way, um, well, what are the odds of Zion replicating what Barkley did in his career? Let's just put it that way. And maintaining the off-the-court relevance that Charles does, you know, being a member of the TNT team and just being in the media and just being the all-around huckster and jokester that he is. Uh, 2003 Topps Finest LeBron James Refractor Serial number 250 SGC9 Does 6,000 six Two Jordan PSA 8s Next to each other Do 6,000 on the nose I didn't really look that up Because um, we've looked those up all the time We'll just let it simmer for another week Here's one interesting card It's a BGS uh, BGS 8 But it's a uh, 1 of 1 It's got a 7 for the centering Which seems really harsh Is it that bad? Jeez I'm I think the centering looked that bad. Maybe it is. I don't know. Damn, seven seems really rough. Um, I just saw a Jerry West seven. It didn't look like it had centering that good. But uh, that uh, that Doncic BGS eight does uh, one of one does six thousand three hundred. And I think I've got some interesting things pulled up here. Uh, here's why you got to be really careful in this hobby. And again, I don't know the whole story behind this. I don't know if this is a non-paying sale. Uh, in which case, you know, it's not really a comp. If you know it wasn't paid. Uh, it's obviously the same card because it's a one of one, so I don't need to look at the serial number. I know it's the same card, but that's half. That's exactly half from what it sold for a month ago. So 12.6 in a PWCC weekly on April 2nd, 6,300 in a PWCC May 14th. That's why you guys always have to keep in mind, I'm just reading numbers off a screen. Please, please do your own research. If you are not sure, confirm that a card got paid. Um... Ask around. Do whatever type of diligence you can do. Um, obviously, card ladder, market movers, these, these, these places can't like vet every single and verify every single sale. There's thousands and millions and zillions of sales. Um, so if you're out there thinking you know, that this Doncic is a $12,000 card and like this guy could have won it for $10,000, thinking, oh, the last one sold for $12,000. No, that's not always the case. It might not even be the case for the Barkley that I looked at. Maybe that's not a legitimate Barkley sale. Maybe it's not a legitimate Bird Exquisite logo sale. I'm just a dude screaming out numbers that I'm reading on a screen. So please don't consider me a source of verification. I am not that. Uh, and in many cases, neither is Card Ladder on certain sales. So uh, be really careful. This Doncic is a um, word of caution to uh, newer folks in the hobby who don't know that not every sale is actually a sale that got paid. Moving along. Uh, Refractor 9, LeBron does 6,300. I don't even need to look. I'm sure it's not good. LeBron, Bowman, Rookies, and Stars Refractor, PSA 9. That's a tough card to grade. Those are serial number to 300. Uh, I remember opening packs of these. These were very uh, difficult to get because uh, edges were an issue. Those black edges were a problem. 6,600 for that. Let's look up this just super filthy. I want to show you a bigger picture. Look at that picture of that Rodman. How epic in 90s and just beautiful and uh an extreme is this card featuring rodman his foot is 48 inches above his head he was flexible he was wiry there was a reason his nickname was the worm the dude was one of the greatest rebounders pound per pound uh that the nba has ever seen of course wilt was a significantly better rebounder and i'll have words with anybody who argues otherwise and uh so was bill russell probably for that matter but you could go look at the analytics and look at the height of Rodman, look at the era that he did it in, look at the you know rebounds per shot and rebound percentage, out of area rebounding and crap like that if you want to get really nerdy. Uh, Rodman was awesome. Let's just leave it at that. And jambalayas are awesome, and I own none of them. Still working on the uh, the Jordan jambalaya. Let's look up the Rodman. It sold for $7,200. Uh, here he is. Uh, oof, one, two, three, four. It looks like it's down from the peak. Uh, in 2021, not a surprise, but I am surprised that it's continuing to trend downward. It's now half of what it sold for in August of 2021. Of course, all time, it's up 1,100%. Uh, that seems good. Uh, but 7,200 is uh, over 2,000 down from the last sale just a month ago. And that is 2,000 down from the sale in September of last year. So uh, careful on the Rodman. Let's see where the bottom is. PSA 9 LeBron Refractor does 7,500. 
Keep in mind, the base PSA 9s were doing that price at one point, I think, if I'm not mistaken. So the refractors have come back to base prices. Uh, Jordan Patch Autograph uh, does 8400 Kobe. Uh, Essential Credentials Future Serial Number 2, uh, the iconic 81 number uh, from 1998 does 8400 They couldn't have known in 81 a uh, number would be relevant, but there it is. BGS9 Essential Credentials Future does 8400 Good looking card. Another Steph Patch Autograph does 8700 Bird Magic Chronology Dual Auto Goofily, Laughingly, Lovingly, uh, Staring at Each Other, Best Friends Forever, BFFs. Uh, this is the Gold Parallel Serial Number to 10. Uh, on Card Autograph, just really, really cool. Uh, 8700 for that one. Um, uh, Dominique Wilkins PSA 10 old label uh, does 8700 and you're wondering why in the hell is Neek outselling Barkley by you know $3,000 what's the deal here well here's the reason I'll show you look at the pop pop 94 versus pop 237 gem rate of one instead of gem rate of two uh, you know 94 PSA 10s. That's not a lot to go around. Anything under 100 from 86 Fleer is a problem because there's so many set collectors scooping up these cards. Keep this fact tucked away because we're not done talking about 86 Fleer. There was a monster 86 Fleer that is coming very shortly on the first row, on the top row, and it's not a Hall of Fame rookie card. Uh, Doncic horizontal, the, the, the bronze. Uh, I should, I'm sorry. Let me start over. I sound like Joe Biden. I can't get these damn words out of my mouth. I'm not that old, I promise. 2018 National Treasures, Luka Doncic. This is his horizontal RPA. BGS 8, 9 for the autograph. It does 9,000 on the nose. I think one day that uh, in 2021, this card sold for $14 million. I don't know. Fact check me on that. Uh, the blue Giannis, and this is a shocker. Again, more bad news for Giannis, although uh, let's just take a close look and see what's up. Blue's rough. Blue is the Walmart retail. I think that's right. 2013, Giannis, where are you? There you are. Here he is. Uh, up from the last sale. So that's good, despite his crappy exit from the playoffs. Uh, but significantly down from just three months ago, where it was 14-4, 12-6. Down to 8,400, jump back to 9,000. Remember, this is only a pop 21 card. Yeah, it's a high gem rate. The card's not grading rare, it's just rare. Only uh, 112 have ever been graded by PSA and BGS. There's only a combined 58 gems, only 21 of them are PSA. So, tough card to gem right there. Beautiful Giannis card right there for rookie rainbow chasers. Uh, my hand raised. Uh, star patch, all-star patch, auto, Jordan, on card, gold sharpie, 810 from upper deck black. Does 9,000. Uh, BGS 9, Jordan does 9,000. Uh, 2019, flawless, one of one platinum. Steph Curry does 9,300. Another patch auto, flawless. Steph Curry does 9,600. Uh, a logo man, one of one, Patrick Ewing. Shout out to all the great Patrick Ewing collectors out there. Top 75 center of all time. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Calm down. Um, Patrick Ewing, one of the great uh, giants that walked the face of the earth in, uh, in the era of the great centers of the 90 with Mark Eaton, Olajuwon, uh, <clears throat> Ewing, um, Shaquille O'Neal, you may have heard of him, Brad Doherty, Rick Smiths, the great Blair Rasmussen, all of those guys. Uh, Steph Curry, Silhouettes, Patch, Autograph does 9,900. That's a really cool Ewing Patch Autograph. I mean, uh, Logo Man, by the way. That is cool. I'm making jokes about it, but that's a huge-ass card for a uh, for any Ewing collector or even it might even be a Logo Man collector. There's some people out there with FU money, deep pockets that are just like, I'm just going to buy all these Logo Man. I don't care who they are. Uh, but hopefully it went to a Ewing collector. Or Logo Man collector is pretty cool too, but hopefully it went to uh, somebody where this card will mean a great deal. That's a pretty cool Logo Man Ewing. Uh, LeBron, I, sorry, uh, Steph Curry Silhouettes, uh, Silhouettes Prime Patch Autograph from 2013. That's card number one out of 25 for all you math nerds, 9,900. LeBron 101 Masterpiece Select, um, Courtside Prisms Disco Black does 11,100. Another Steph Patch Autograph, God dog, 11-1. Uh, the LeBron BGS 910 SP Authentic Autograph, serial number to 500 does 12,000. Yes. 
I am that sucker. I don't have this card. I, I needed uh, the refractor. I figured it has fallen quite far enough. I put in a low, low, low um, seller dweller bid, hoping that I could steal a min gem with a net nine for the centering, which is the worst of the min gems. Uh, I thought maybe I could walk away with it for uh, about 10,000, um, but this one actually bounced. Um, it actually bounced, and there it is. It's actually up. So it went from 12.10 uh, to 13.2. I saw this trend of 15.1, 13.1, 12.1, and so I think I put in a bid of 10,000 on the nose thinking, well, look, if this thing gets to $10,000, right, look, this is where the card's been if you all want to see it. Uh, it was a $50,000 card, you know, exactly two years ago. Uh, if the thing gets down to $10,000, i am going to grab the card, right? It has actually sold for $8,000 once. I wish I had been awake at that time. It would have been nice to pick it up because it's already back to thirteen. dollars uh, But for God's sakes, I know there's 435 of them, but we've got to be somewhere near the bottom. I know Cage Lawyer posted something on Instagram about his BGS-10. Kind of, uh, you know, it was a, a humble brag, chest-thumping for sale, but not really, but maybe for sale, post, cage. I know what you were doing, you dirty slide dog. Uh, but uh, this is a 9.5, so there's a lot of these out there. It's not like the BGS 10, but 13.2 uh, is what that card's going for today, so you know. Uh, the Upper Deck Finite Autograph LeBron does 14.4. That's only a pop three card in PSA 10.10. So 10.10, dual 10s. 14-4, rare card there, good looking card there, nice bling in his left ear. Limited logos, LeBron from 2005, third year LeBron, limited logos, serial number to 50, BGS 8.5, 10 for the auto, which is crucial, 15,600. The Jordan 9 does 16,200. Top row, murderer's row, I don't wanna say Rushmore because there's only three of them, so we'll say the, uh, the, the top triumvirate. Uh, we've got uh, the aforementioned, Jeff Malone, 86 Fleer, PSA 10, and you're wondering, Carl Malone? No, not Carl Malone, Jeff Malone. Uh, really good shooting guard. This has been a shooting guard theme in this, uh, in this, but he was a true shooting guard who would give you freaking buckets. In fact, we might be able to look at some of his stats on the back. Here you go. Uh, rookie year, averaged 12, then jumped to 19, and then the next year jumped all the way up here shooting uh, 46%, I think that's right, averaging 22 a game, had some success with the Bullets, and then moved over and played with the Jazz and was a uh, crucial part of that those that Jazz dynasty, I shouldn't say dynasty, but that the Jazz when they went on that run where they were extremely relevant for like 20 straight years with Stockton and Malone. Jeff Malone at one point was there, and then of course uh, Jeff Hornacek kind of took his spot as the shooting guard or whatever a little bit later date but uh, the reason this Jeff Malone card is so valuable in PSA 10 let me show you why it is because this is the one of the most collected if not the most collected set in the history of basketball card collecting and you'll see here it is pop 66 so some of you guys who are snobs about pops are like 66 that's a lot of them what you don't understand is the demand for this card first of all it's got a two percent gem rate 2,500 have been graded. Uh, there are only 66 PSA 10s. The vast, 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 vast majority of people who collect this set collect it in PSA only, not BGS. PSA, or they collect it raw, but PSA if they're going to collect it graded. And PSA 10 set collectors are out there, and it's hot and heavy, and there's a set registry chase. Trust me, I know I was embroiled right in the middle of it, and I won that bitch. Uh, but this Jeff Malone, believe it or not, at Pop 66, it's often been thought that this Johnny Moore was the rarest card in the set because of where it was located on the sheet and there was a little, you know, there was a fish eye, I think, or something. I don't know the whole story. I forgot it. I knew it and I forgot it. Uh, it's actually a pop 67. So the Johnny Moore does have a lower gem rate, but it's a pop 67. The Jeff Malone is only a pop 66. So Jeff Malone is the lowest of, uh, of all of the 86 Fleer PSA 10s. And then I'll put you, I'll give you another little sneaky secret here. Alvin Adams is right behind those guys with a pop 72 and a whopping 3% gem rate. The great Alvin Adams right there, who uh, might have done your taxes last year, is the next lowest pop. Uh, anyway, Jeff Malone does 17400 I guess we should talk about the actual price of the card. Check this out. Uh, so I don't want to end your uh, your PWCC Weekly 100 update on bad news. Look at the, what's going on with the Jeff Malone. It got all the way down to 8700 I sold mine somewhere in like the high 20000s when I sold mine last May. Then it got, I don't, look, am I lying about that? Maybe I'm lying about that. Maybe it was two Mays ago. When did I sell mine? I think I sold mine here. No, 
maybe I didn't. Maybe that's mine. That might no. That I think that might be mine. I don't know. I can't remember. It's not relevant. Uh, looking at the last six months is relevant. And the good news is up, up, up. So. For once, a card is actually going up. So there's your good news for your Monday morning. 2003, or whenever you're watching this, 2003 Topps Chrome Black Refractor PSA 9. I'm a happy owner of a BGS 9.5. I'm probably not going to be happy when the next 9.5 sails because I'm going to be way upside down on mine unless LeBron runs this bitch and wins this title. Come on, LeBron, you can do it. You and Jared Vanderbilt can do it. 21000 for this LeBron Black Refractor PSA 9. That's Alvin Adams. Here he is. It's actually a big jump. So eight. 18,000 for the last one, 21,000 for this one, a 3,000 jump, uh, almost back to what it was in January at 24,000, but up from where it was six months ago, 25%. So that's a good sign. So maybe there is some hope for my BGS 9.5. Just out of curiosity, let me selfishly look at the BGS 9.5 over the last two years. Uh, that's mine right there. So maybe I'm going to be okay. Who knows? Card Ladder thinks it's worth half of what I paid for it. So thank you, Chris, and uh, thank you, Josh and Christina for uh, ruining my entire week that I bought a car for twice what it's worth and there hasn't been a sale since then and I'm gonna have to disagree a little bit with you. Uh, but uh, here's the Topps Chrome Refractor PSA 10. So the winner was uh, LeBron, LeBron, and yes, you heard it right, Jeff Malone. Uh, this LeBron PSA 10 Topps Chrome Refractor seems to be the topic du jour, given LeBron's run this year and Cage's post and all the black and the uh, and then the base and not, you know it's like LeBron refractors everywhere. Uh, this 2003 Topps Chrome PSA 10 sold last night for. 32.6, is that right? Yep, 34.2. So here's what happened. There was two sales last night, right? Yes, two sold last night. One sold on eBay for 31, and then uh, the PWCC Weekly actually outperformed the eBay, which is pretty rare. Again, card quality might have had something to do with it, seller, location, all that crap. 34,200 uh, is actually a pretty decent sale. It is down from the last one, but the last one was way up. The average over the last 16 is 3,400. So, albeit there are a lot of undulations, a lot of camel humps in here, uh, the card is uh, sold last night for right on the average of the last six months. We don't want to scroll back to the last two years because uh, nothing good is going to come out of that, and that's what you're going to see. But uh, we've got it. Uh, I always do the top 10. LeBron, LeBron, Jeff Malone, Jordan, LeBron, 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 Curry, LeBron. So I heard a lot of LeBrons. I heard a lot of Jeff Malone. No, I'm just kidding. One Jeff Malone. We got Curry in there, and we got some Jordan in there. So huge LeBron flavor in this auction, fellas, in case you didn't notice. Huge Steph Curry flavor in this auction. We got our uh, our required per diem of uh, Kobe Bryant Eminence autographs. And uh, so uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this PWCC Weekly 100 episode. Uh, hit the bell icon for notifications. You get this every Monday. You get the top 24 Jordans in the Golden Weekly Auction every Friday. And then you're going to get tons of other content throughout the week. You're getting six to seven to eight videos from me every single week. You can count on it. It's consistent. It is not going to be about trimming. It is not going to be about a PWCC going bankrupt. It's not going to be about alt or whatever is going on there. It's not going to be about breakers cheating or stealing. I don't, I'm not saying there's not a place for all of that content, right? There is a place. This is just not it. We're going to talk about the hobby. We're going to talk about the cards. We're going to talk about the collecting of the cards. We're going to talk about the investing of the cards. We're going to talk primarily about basketball with a pinch of soccer. We're even going to talk about the NBA itself uh, pretty often, which reminds me I need to get back to talking about the damn sport and the damn league and uh, not so much about cards, but it seems like the card videos get more views than the NBA videos uh, get. So uh, anyway, thank Thank you guys for watching as always keep collecting check out one of these other two videos on the end screen maybe i've got some other content out there that you like and please pass my name along and the link to my youtube channel on to some of your friends if you think they'd enjoy some of my stuff i do appreciate your time you could have listened to anything on youtube there's a ton of stuff to choose from even within the hobby but specifically outside the hobby you chose to take about 47 minutes to listen to me if you're still listening right now. So for that, I do appreciate it. And I uh, always appreciate all the constructive and uh, positive comments in the uh, down below. So thank you guys for watching. Keep collecting. Have a great week in and out of the hobby. Keep collecting. Stay positive in the hobby and peace.